Sammy from Sammy Sweet Life and welcome to the vlog today. I did chop off my hair. I did it myself. It's not even. I've got to work on it quite a bit more. It's very choppy and I wanted like chunky layers. I don't know, the last like two years I've cut my hair myself. So it's not always the best, but I just get so sick of it. Today it's looking crazy. This is like bedhead. <laughs> I've had it pulled up too, so it, it looks crazy. I am starting the vlog. It's actually been a little while and I'm going to catch you guys up. Here's what we did earlier today. We have lights. Only in some rooms though. They're working on doors and they put in cabinets. The lighting just came on and they'll have to fix cover plates here and there. But there's the bathroom floor in here. I did the dark grout for the flooring and it was just the standard tile, the grayest one that they had. And then six inch bath tiles, again, standard tiles. We cheaped out on the kids and the guest bathroom. And then light switches. There's a can light. Oh. Okay. What about this hall light? Uh -huh. Hall light there. I'm doing this one handed because Stelly's with me. Oh, Stella Boo. So this is kids bathroom here. We did the same cabinets and poles everywhere. They each will have their own sink. There's going to be a medicine cabinet there, same tile. And I can see like one tile looks wonky there, right there. That one looks a little bit wonky, but other than that, they look pretty good. Some of the grout lines are not so great. We'll, we will have a discussion about that. That's basically the only tile work I've seen that looks bad. Everything else has been impeccable. All right, let's go ahead and head down. There's the light for the stairs, or the entryway. I, we just got the standard lights, and I thought they were gonna be chrome, but they look to be brushed nickel, so not too bad. And then the tile throughout the hole. I don't think I've shown any of the tile. Maybe a little bit. Oh yeah, we showed a little bit. Losing my thoughts here. And then that light will be replaced. This is the extra room, and then I don't know what's the deal with that. Those are glass panes. <laughs> they just painted it. and then. The tile goes all the way, all in the open spaces. I show a dining room, they covered it really nicely, but I see a little animal track, so I'll make sure I close the garage when I'm done. Into the laundry room. Also, we paid to have it go all the way under the stairs, so it goes all the way back around. I don't know if I mentioned this, this is the valet. It'll have the same countertop as the kitchen, but I did not remember to add uppers, so it's the only part that doesn't have the second row uppers. So the whole kitchen has the second row. And that little place does it, so I just messed up. Um, let's see, the lights aren't installed in this room yet. We're gonna put a ceiling pin in here at some point. So there's the fireplace, there's my shoes. I just got done with the appointment with the blinds lady who's gonna do all the blinds. So we talked about it, she measured everything. And then carpet in here, you can see where it switches. So bedroom will be carpet. And then I love the bathroom. This is one of my favorite parts of the whole house. And Johnny picked the tile, so I just love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. And it goes all the way up to the ceiling for the shower. We did not get a frameless shower because it was hecka expensive. But look at that, it's gorgeous. I just love it so much. And then the light, and then Johnny's side, and the light. It just looks incredible. The tile is just gorgeous. The wood tile goes all the way into the closet, which we had hardwood floors in the last house closet, and I just loved it. I just thought it was awesome having, you know, you can get right from the bathtub and not worry about getting the floor too wet if it's carpet in the closet, so I can get dressed in the actual bathroom slash closet. So I just love it. There's our windows, and what else? They put in these doors, which are our doors. You just gotta get knobs for them, and I think the knobs are chrome. I think that's what I was thinking of. So all these like hallway areas, I put can lights in instead of other lights. And then up here, there's three things so we can do pennant lights over the island at some point. They put the wiring in, we paid for that. So we can get that done at some point. So the countertops are supposed to go in today, and I think brick, the rest of the bricks are getting delivered today. And uh, that's it. So Stella had a blowout while we were here. I changed her. I just got.
got out a blanket, changed it right on the floor, and stuck all the supplies back in the car. I always have extra supplies, thankfully. And I'll show you guys this light here. I think it's brushed nickel. It looks brushed nickel. So we will change out all the lights as we want to, but I'm not super concerned with that, and I wasn't about to pay giant prices. And they also did not have remote control ceiling fans. So they were gonna hang a ceiling fan from up there with a giant dangly cord. And we'd have to pay a lot extra for that giant dangly cord ceiling fan. So we're gonna do that later. Same with the bedrooms. We've got the wiring for the ceiling fans and the blocks for easy installation. We will do those later. So the kitchen extras, we added the poles, we added the second row, which changed that little nook area there. And the other thing I did was I put drawers under the range. So the range will go there. We've got the deep drawers, which I really wanted under the range. And then pantry. I'm just super excited. You're gonna have to fix that. I can tell that one's a little bit off, but the rest of them look just right. I buckle her in. There's my little pineapple. Yes, who needs a nap? She's gonna take a nap when we get in the car. And now it's time to go. You got something to say? No, yeah. Oh, his fingers are yummy. Somebody learned a new trick the last couple days. I'm trying to get her to roll the other way, which is towards me. Come over here, Stella. Come this way. So I put all her toys stacked over here. You can try to get a roll this side. Yeah. You thinking about it? She only rolls the other way. Yeah. That's right. That's right. You got to roll. You gotta practice this way. Nope, that's what we got. We only go one direction. If you remember from Zoolander, he wasn't an Ambi Turner. She's not an Ambi Roller. We only get one direction, huh? Isn't that right? That's right. We get one direction. All right, you want your toys? Go ahead. And then she'll want me to flip her back so she can do it again. Look at you. Are you okay? Oh my goodness. Are you okay? My goodness, you got choked up on that cough. And she's been getting her booty up in the air. She's also been doing the push-ups. Yeah. Slowly, tummy time is becoming an actual good thing. And that's what happens. She just screams the whole time. Don't ya? Yeah. up I can see some like popcorn in there I gotta get the vacuum out and get that but I can pick up the crumbs out there yes you good gravy all right I filmed out of order I just filmed the intro there's Stella Bar. she's still on her tummy look at you so now you're caught up into real time so we've got a few minutes before we have to go pick up Livy and I'm gonna get those clothes folded and I'll show you guys a couple of things I tried to get a high chair, did not like it. I'm trying to disassemble it and I can't get it. Johnny's gonna have to help me get the pieces apart. And then I got her some books set up right there so that she is ready to read her stories. We read a few of them this morning and she really enjoyed a couple of new books. And then previously, this has been full of random house building paperwork and 
other junk, like all my special pens and things. I put everything where it belonged, filed everything away. It just has my planner and a current pen right there. And then that tissue box and that's it. Still got my drink. I just hand wash it until my other one comes and there's a story with that as well. So I'm going to work on folding and talk to you guys a little bit. I pulled the whole blanket down over here and she loved it. It was really cute. She just squealed a bunch. All right, I'm gonna flip you back over so that he can roll again. You ready? Roll. There you are. Would you bow? Yeah, thank you. Okay, you take it. All right, so first story. story our mail here completely garbage <laughs> they're complete garbage they gave me a notice saying that my box had been delivered and I can go pick it up at the post office which if you guys have ever dealt with mailboxes that are cluster mailboxes like there is not a mailbox in front of our house there is a cluster that we walk to and we get our mail and if you get packages they are supposed to put them in the parcel boxes which are bigger ones and put a key in your little mailbox so we have like a a mailbox like this big for like letters and things and then anything bigger gets put in a parcel box with a key so you get the key you go open your box you get your package out and if you get a big enough package it's supposed to be delivered to your door i ordered the birthday gifts and my one other turvis cup from turvis and apparently they didn't put it in a parcel box or we didn't grab it soon enough somebody in the neighborhood said if you don't grab it like the day of they will go return it to the post office the next day so we didn't grab it soon enough we got the little slip saying we didn't get our package and we have to go pick up the package from the post office so i got to go do that tomorrow and then i will have my other turvis and then libby's two turvises so every vlog now has been a turvis story <laughs> so that's unfortunate that the mail was shady like that and Livy loves these elf pajamas we got matching ones for everybody including uncle david this christmas since he came and celebrated with us Livy has not stopped wearing these i wash them and she takes them from like the basket if she's here watching me fold she will grab them from the basket and put them on immediately and if not if her clothes are ready i just stack hers at the stairs and we put them up together it's like our new Livy chore um she will grab them from the stack and put them on immediately when she gets home. So she'll be happy that they're washed and in the stack for her. Those are my panties. All right, I pulled the undies off the top and just hid them behind the basket. Anyway, so I'm irritated that I have to go to the post office with a newborn, I guess she's not a newborn anymore, with a baby, a young baby, and have to deal with that. But I have to do that tomorrow. Did you get your ball? Very good. And then the high chair, I wanted to love it. I really like this style is easy clean i'll link to it show a picture or something and it's an easy clean style but it's two separate pieces so it can turn into a booster seat which i don't even need i don't need it to be a booster seat and i didn't like that the two pieces came apart so we're returning it i'm gonna get the big high chair and also with my hair don't look too close because it's choppy and not even and i've got to work on it tonight i just did like the rough chop last night and i'll refine tonight make it a little bit nicer but you guys know it's up 99% of the time, so it really doesn't matter. I just was so tired of my bun being so heavy on my head. I've had to wrap the hair like three times to get it on top of my head <laughs> because it was so big and it was really weighing my head down. In the last few days, I started getting little headaches, not like migraines or anything, but like just the tightness pulling on my head. I couldn't handle it, so I had to chop it off. And I chopped it a little shorter than I was planning on chopping it, but I got a little gung-ho and just chopped and chopped and I actually really like it like it feels like nothing and when I put my bun up it's a tiny little bun and it again feels like nothing are you coming this way come on over Get your toys out of the way I don't know if you can come over with that ball in your hand I don't know I don't know if you can you think you can hold in that ball I guess you can. Wow. Wow, buggy. Yeah, you did. Let's wipe you up. Got a little spitty on you. Other uh, story time. See, now that she's back and flipped, she's going to start screaming again. So load number four for today is in the dryer. I had a load sitting in the dryer. I had a load in the basket. And I had a load that needed to be washed. 
and then I found more clothes and I decided to wash towels. Nobody can hear me. You're so loud. Nobody can hear me now. Yeah. My goodness. So all together, four loads for today. I'm trying to get them all done. The last one is in the dryer. So I washed this load and dried it today. I'm putting it away. And then the other load I'm washing and drying today. And here is, oh boy, that was a big one. That's what happens with this baby girl. That's why she's on a blanket, by the way. She is a spitty magoo. And Libby's timer is going to go off in two minutes. And then we got to start getting ready to go. These are Stella's elf pajamas. We put her in these when we picked Libby up yesterday. So cute. She still fits in them. Let's see. We don't have a pile. We do, Stella. And here's one of Stella's little outfits. Libby had the same outfit, but she was a little bit older. I want to say she was like right at the time we moved. So 16 or 17 months old. She had this exact same little romper. So cute. We started up 100 piece puzzle this morning. This is the second time Libby and I are building it. She's really just getting good at puzzles and loving them right now. So we're gonna build a puzzle. The next time you take a nap, you need one more nap. Yes, you do. You're gonna monk into everything. Yeah, you gotta take one more nap today. She did not nap while we were out and about. <laughs> she napped on the, home, on the drive home. This is another one Libby's been wearing all the time. And there are her little elf pants. And uh, I think that's all I wanted to talk about right now. I just gotta get this last folded. I'm gonna try to get this folded real quick before we leave. Now what color do you want to do? Uh, I'm trying to find two in this boat. Oh, the sailboat? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Are you okay, Stella? She's talking. Is that you? <laughs> it is, sir. <laughs> uh, Mom, there's part of yours. Hey, there's part of the boat. Very good. And look, here's part of Europe. And Africa. Ooh. So we got orange and white. Tricky, tricky. Can you help me find part of that boat? What are you looking for? The sailboat? No. All right. Look at your clues. What else you got? Edge light, piece. Light green. Oh yeah. All right. You yeah. Got, you're gonna find some sailboat with some light green on it. Oh look, there's words above it. It might be near my words. You see any? Sailboats in my words? Not just him, look at all of them. <laughs> there you go. Alright, what continent do you want to work on now? Um, that orange one. Orange? Which one is orange? Do you know what one it is? Africa. Africa, that's right. It's Africa. Alright, let's get your orange pieces. There's an orange piece. That one actually says Africa. Orange. This one has the teeny tiniest bit of orange on it. Well, I just don't want her to pick the puzzle piece up because she's trying to put it in their mouth. That's true. I would make sure she didn't put it in their mouth. You're a big, good big sister, you know that. Yeah. I think this is on your side too. Do you have a volcano over there? Um, no. You do now, huh? <laughs> oh, what? Oh. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing over here? <laughs> Oh, 
get you a toy. Okay? I'll help you find them in just a second. I'm going to go get Sully a toy. Oh, you're going to get it for us? Thank you. Lady is working on some watercolors here. And I am going to work on making Italian wedding soup. I'm working on a couple of things and that little stinker is trying to roll over and get stuck. So we will see how that goes. That's the oven preheating. So I'm going to work on the meatballs first so I can pop them in the oven and then I will cook everything in the Instant Pot just in a couple of minutes. It does not take long. So I've got breadcrumbs, chicken broth, the pasta. I don't know how to say it, but it's the tiny little ball pasta the Italian sausage, an onion, an egg, the little ball pasta, yeah, that goes in the soup. Egg, carrot, spinach, and keep my eye on that little one. You can talk to yourself. I'm gonna keep an eye on that little one. She's been screeching a bunch, so we'll see how it goes. snap today somebody got hysterical in here who was it was it you <gasps> was it you what's that i'm just gonna be all tired this afternoon the last few hours of the day you got her i'm a little sad stelly was laughing at her whoa whoa don't lean back give her some smiles <laughs> 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 oh, she loves you so much. Uh oh, she might not want to go down. Oh, she's kicking me. <gasps> Livy and Johnny are goofing off upstairs. I went ahead and did the hugs and everything at bedtime and gave them another minute. And it was a rough night. Stella wanted to go to bed early because she did not take that nap. She totally skipped that last little cat nap. I had to hold her. She ended up going to bed at 6.30 and I got to do bedtime with Livy. And now they're just having a little daddy minute. But here is the rest of the soup. It looks fantastic. It is fantastic. We all three loved it. And Libby said she loved the carrots. I didn't put carrots in last time. And she said the carrots were her favorite part. She doesn't like the meatballs. She's getting into where she does not eat very much meat. She'll eat salmon, a little bit of beef here and there, and then chicken. And that's like all she will eat as far as meat. So she's just getting picky on the meat but she ate the rest. So I will just leave it in the Instant Pot liner. I do have a crock pot lid for this, so I can just stick it in the fridge and then heat it up for dinner tomorrow. It was really good. So I used up the last of the little ball pasta. You can see they have a really nice little texture. They're like sort of chewy and delicious. And then I also used up the last pack of the Italian ground uh, sausage that I had. So I got to use up both of those. I will link to the recipe I used for this. It was actually a recipe I found on YouTube, so I'll link to it. And I'm just gonna put this away and clean up the last of the kitchen, pack the lunches. I've got the lunch boxes sitting there and uh, call it a night. They finished the puzzle while I was nursing Stella. Looks good. This is the biggest one in this pack. Jenny's washing dishes. So it's the biggest one and she blasted through. She can make these two all by herself. This one, she still needs a little help. The downside of this pack is they 
a lot of them fit together. So like the shapes are pretty uniform and so she'll stick them on the wrong spot. You really have to look at the picture on some of these. They're not self-correcting, but she can really do these now. She's getting good at them. You're gonna hear the water, Jenny's washing the dishes. I wanted to give you guys a Reese's update because I talked about it in the last update. I ended up getting two types of Reese's. This is my Valentine's Day goodies, by the way. I got peanut butter eggs, the Reese's eggs. They were out of the heart, like six packs. And then Reese's regular Reese's cups. And I thought the thin ones were like really small compared to these, but I think they're the same size. I think I was wrong, but they just don't have much peanut butter at all. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do and it works really well. I'm not gonna open this one. It's basically just stick a, a cookie wafer on top. What I'm gonna do is open this one so I can have two of my little special treats because I break this one in half. So I've got my giant Reese's here. And then I grab an Oreo. So I've got my Oreo. And then whatever side that I see doesn't come on, I use that. Break this in half. It's a, a process, you guys. <laughs> and then I've got my Reese's and the wafer and then I eat it like that like a little sandwich so good it's really good almost as good as the big cups I think the big cups are slightly better because they're easier to eat like this is a little bit of a challenge to eat they get a little crumbly like you know cookies get crumbly but it works and it's a really good like that so if you guys are a Reese's fans and you want some crunch go for these I think it was Amanda who said she really liked the Reese's pieces big cups and I've tried a few of them and I didn't like them I got like broken up Reese's bits and so it's just like little tiny shards of like the candy coating and it just didn't taste right it was a little bit too sweet for me although I'm eating total pure sugar it was a little bit too like sickeningly sweet with the other Reese's pieces chocolate in there but I love it like this like this is my jam right here so I've been doing this every day <laughs> and I really like it. So I'm going to enjoy my big shaped one and I'll go ahead and show it to you. So I take another Oreo, break it up. So this one will go on my second piece of Reese's and then, let me see this, this is double stuff plus double stuff. <laughs> it's a quadruple stuff. I'm showing you guys like the most important science <laughs> known to mankind. So there you go quad stuff and then I'll eat two of these little guys and that'll be my special desserts for making it through today. It was a great day. It was just rough at the end. She was just fussy. I had to hold her so Johnny had to finish up like scooping out our soup because at that point I was holding her and there was no putting her down. Like I set her down she immediately starts the hysterics and then she ended up crying at bedtime because she was obviously overtired with not taking that nap in the afternoon it really just messed up her whole schedule and it ended up taking her like 15 minutes to go down altogether so i went in burped her checked her changed her diaper once and she ended up finally passing out so i'll show you guys what it looks like here i have the bar right there and she scooted herself like it looks like she's got something on her face because it's that bar going across um, but it just looks kind of silly i can see her fully so i'm okay with that and uh yeah that's about it so i'm gonna go enjoy my treats and call it a day so i'm wrapping up this vlog hope you enjoyed it give me a thumbs up and subscribe i hope to have another vlog for you guys next week be sure to check out my vlogging playlist down below if you want to catch up on house updates and baby stuff and just follow me around during the day and i'll catch you next time thanks for watching bye